People are not used to hearing that President Obama and the Republicans have found common ground, um, and that President Obama's opposition are the largest uh, block in Congress, and that's the progressive Democrats. Can you explain why President Obama is pushing TPP forward and TPA, the Fast Track Authority, which means, again, that um, you can't amend this agreement? You can only vote up or down. Well, I want to actually, I want to take one step back before guessing why, because it's hard to imagine. If you go to our website, tradewatch.org, we've literally done a side-by-side -side of Obama's policy goals as a president and everything fast-tracking the TPP would do to basically undermine everything that he has fought for from lower medicine prices to re-regulating Wall Street to more energy-efficient, energy climate crisis-combating policies to allegedly this middle-class economics agenda. The TPP and Fast Track are the antithesis. But one other thing about Fast Track folks need to know, which is, and this, this gets to the weird politics, you've got the president basically doing the bidding of all the big corporations and commercial interests that spent millions of dollars to make sure he wasn't elected the first time and to try and not elect him the second time. Against him are the entire labor movement united. There was a letter signed by every union president, basically the most unity in the labor movement since certain unions left the AFL-CIO 20 years ago. And it's the government employee unions, it's the service sector unions. All the unions are affected by what happens when all of our good jobs are taken away and the tax base crashes. And you've got groups that have never been involved in a trade fight before, all the Internet freedom groups who realize the, the agreement would undermine the basic rights to an accessible free Internet. There are issues about net neutrality that could be rolled back. It's just overarchingly a delivery mechanism for a huge, broad corporate agenda. So then... Why would the president be with the Chamber of Commerce, the NAM, all the big lobby groups that also tried to unelect him, and against him are almost every House Democrat, and then, interestingly, a bunch of conservative Republicans. But it's not—the issue is not that they—we, anyone, doesn't want this president to have fast track. The issue is fast track is inappropriate for any president. Fast Track lets a president unilaterally pick negotiating partners, set wide rules, not about trade, that would rewrite domestic policy, sign and enter an agreement that would require us to change all of our domestic laws to meet those rules, sign and enter into that agreement before Congress votes to approve the contents, then write implementing legislation to change all the U.S. laws that isn't subject to congressional review through committee. It goes directly to the floor, and the president is guaranteed in 90 days a yes or no vote with no filibuster, limited debate, and no amendments. So it's literally a form of diplomatic legislating. And actually, since 1988, only two presidents have managed to have Congress give away all that authority, Ronald Reagan in 88 and George Bush, too, in 2002. Every other president who's tried... Clinton in 95, 97, 98, Congress said no. So it's not an anti-Obama thing. It's a no giveaway of the ability of Congress to make our laws. And that's what Fast Track is, and that's why it would enable something as outrageous as the TPP.